take equal amounts of sports car racing at venues from Le Mans to Sebring, Indy cars all over the United States, European Formula One, and some good old Southern stock car racing, blend evenly into world-class publications as Road and Track, Car and Driver, Automobile, and Hot Rod Magazine, sprinkle liberally with racing greats like Petty, Gurney, and Foyt, just to name a few, simmer for, say, four and a half decades, and you have the recipe for a car enthusiast career made in heaven. This is Peter Biro, one of the world's most published motorsports photographers. And if you like racing, chances are you've enjoyed his photos in many automotive magazines, an Indy 500 program, a Goodyear ad, or just about anywhere else that car racing photos have met the printed page over the past 40 years. Today, Peter is the creative director for the Justice Brothers Racing Museum in Duarte, California. And it was here that we caught up with Peter and learned just how his unique career developed. Actually, I started doing this in, uh, when I got out of the Army in 1952. I'd seen sports cars in Europe, went to a few races, took some pictures, uh, worked for all the car magazines over the years. Um, Never have driven fast. I've never been uh, very good at that uh, end of it, so I figured I'll take pictures. In what we've come to understand is Peter's typically understated style, he described how his career evolved snapshot by snapshot. Goodyear uh, came through with some assignments, and I've been shooting from them over 20 years, doing Indy, Formula One, off-road racing. Whatever kind of racing Goodyear's involved with, they've sent me out to uh, photograph it. Just rummaging through a small pile of Peter's endless photos can reveal a wealth of racing history. And he recalls a time when track access was practically unlimited and the action was just a step away. Because in those days, we could actually stand so close to the track, the drivers could run over your foot. And uh, some of the guys used to ask me, how could you get such good access and great photos? And I said, well, in those days, maybe eight of us had photo passes. I mean, you take eight people and spread them around an eight-mile racetrack, there's no crowd. Today, you go out, say, to Long Beach, one of the races, and there's 45 guys all pushing each other out at turn one, um, elbows in each other, and it's, you know, it's impossible. While most of Peter's successful career can only be credited to hard work and a keen eye for the sport, there were times when just being in the right place at the right time didn't hurt either. Well, when uh, Goodyear first got into stock car racing, they sent me down to Daytona to cover the 500, and by great coincidence, it happened to be Richard Petty's very first win. And I flew down there, and I, I got the shot, and uh, of course, it ended up being a two-page spread in all the newspapers. One of the more recognized faces to ever grace the pages of the motorsports press is that of A.J. Foyt. And while Peter is responsible for capturing many of those images, there was one particular A.J. photo that never made it into print. I was shooting this one set of pictures of A.J., and he really looked nervous. And I said, Foyt, what's going on? What do you look so nervous for? Well, we happened to be standing in the middle of a field surrounded by Brahma bulls. And I thought it would be a great picture with these bulls around A.J. You know, he's a big guy. <laughs> and he said, if you know what these bulls could do, you wouldn't be here. And I said, really? Let's get out of here. So we both turned and ran for the gate. Even though Peter's responsibilities at Justice Brothers Racing Museum have him running at close to red line every day, he continues to get behind the lens and focus on capturing racing memories. Well, currently I'm covering the core off-road series for Goodyear, and that's uh, a series that starts on Memorial Day and runs through Labor Day. So that means just about every other weekend I'm back in Wisconsin and uh, photographing trucks. Uh, they're closed course races as opposed to desert races. Pretty much the same vehicles, uh, big trucks, dune buggies, jeeps, whatever. A Peter Biro photo tells two stories, one of racing history and one of a man with a passion for capturing racing history. For the most part, I would say that everything I've ever done for a living has been something I would do free. Don't tell the guy upstairs that though. <laughs>